Let's flip on the tube. It's television and you can't see. TV. Thanks to Guglielmo Marconi. TV. It's television and you can't show. MBT on the radio. MBT. Come on now. May not be Mr. Right, but he is certainly Mr. Smooth. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to another episode of Remodeling with Paul and the Unpleasant Snooker Player. I'm Paul, and with me, as always, is the Unpleasant Snooker Player. Here's a quarter, you motherless cheese packer. Go call someone who cares or I'll bust you in the chops with a Chinese midget and then make you eat koala bear dong out of a kettle drum. We've got a special treat for you today on Remodeling with Paul and the Unpleasant Snooker Player because we're going we're gonna to be showing you how to add a deck onto the back of your home. I hate you, you low-down, <laughs> dirty, good-for-nothing, <laughs> bite in the arse. Now put down that hammer and let's play some snooker before I tie your wank in a granny knot and beat you senseless with it. First, <laughs> you want to decide what kind of wood you want to use. Cedar is nice, but I would recommend using pine, especially if it rains a lot where you live. Nobody's buying this whole heterosexual handyman routine, so get your sweet ass out in the kitchen and make me some flapjacks and toast, you big fat fairy. Let's play snooker! <laughs> Once you decide how big to make your deck, then you can go ahead and buy your wood. If you were a bald eagle, I'd shoot you. If you were a Trix rabbit, I'd slit your throat while you were stuffing your fat face with tricks. But since you're just a pansy-ass do-it-yourselfer, I'm gonna nail your tongue to your ankle and buff your nipples with a power sander. And then I wanna play snooker. <laughs> a deck is a great place for barbecuing or just having some fun. You know what's almost as fun as playing snooker? You pathetic, limp-wristed, foul-smelling Bob Vila ripoff. Taking a jackhammer to your and then seeing if I can break your head with a vice grip. You want to make sure you got a power saw, a hammer, and a level before you begin construction. I can't wait to live la vida loca on your rotting corpse and use your decaying <laughs> eye sockets to chalk my pool cue for the big snooker tournament in Bakersfield next week. You want to make sure the guardrails are tall enough to lean out, but short enough so that little kids can't squeeze through them. When I look at you, I get so angry that my buttocks puckers, and I'm filled with rage, and I haven't felt since I sat all the way through Crocodile Dundee 2. I want to play snooker after I kill you. Well, that's just about all the time we have for today, but be sure to tune in again next week here on Remodeling with Paul and the Unpleasant Snooker Player. Get stuffed, you f cork wiper. <laughs> Oh, let's hear the theme again. I love the theme again. Never done my.